Hello, my name is Avi Ghosh, I'm working at Securities and Exchanges for SIX. I'm here today to have a discussion with Thomas Zeeb, the head of Securities and Exchanges, about the state of the exchange, the state of the exchange business, and what he's seeing happening in the entire techno crypto space. Tom, hi. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Securities and Exchanges, this incorporates the stock exchange, the post trading activities of SIX. Um, you've been in the driving seat for pretty much most of this year. How are things unfolding? What are you seeing as the big opportunities for your exchange? The integration of the two business units has, has been done. Mm -hmm. uh, we spent the first quarter of the year really bringing the two, the two entities together. Um, we have the structure in place. That's ready to go. What we're still working on is, is really looking at, at things like the joint product development. Mm -hmm. Because what we had before was um, we spent 10 years looking at, at synergy potentials. We've, we've brought together three different companies in this triple merger to create six. Mm -hmm. And those entities have been largely optimized. The focus now is on how do we generate growth for the future. And that is really the rationale behind bringing together these, these business units that, on the face of it, operationally have very little synergies. But in terms of looking at growth opportunities and joint product development, there are plenty of opportunities there. That's something that we're now working through, and we're in the early stages of that process, but we're already starting to see some, some progress in that regard. Right. Well, that means it also improves your competitive behavior in terms of how we're operating against some of the big players in the marketplace. But on a broader level, what are you seeing in terms of how the exchange business is going to unfold going forward in the years ahead? What do you think the future of the exchanges is? It's an, it's an interesting question because there are two opposing forces coming together, mm -hmm. and, and that's creating a real challenge. On the one side, capital markets participants in general are under huge pressure to get the cost down. We have had the, the benefit of pretty much free capital movements throughout Europe and for the most part of the, of the world and that has allowed both market participants, companies, banks and so on to optimize their processes and reduce their costs. Exchanges, whether they are MTFs or regulated exchanges as well as the post-trade entities in the market, most of them are not in a silo the way we are, have followed suit and reduced their costs quite dramatically. That's the one side. Offsetting that pressure on cost reduction is a tendency over the last few years for more nationalistic protectionism at a political level. And that makes it very difficult. That, that is starting to impede capital flows. That is going to make compliance issues, regulatory issues, a much more expensive proposition. And these are fixed costs that can only to some extent be offset by optimization in, in operating costs. So I think ultimately we're at a, at a point, certainly in Europe, where some decisions need to be taken primarily at a political level, as to whether we want the European capital markets to continue to be attractive, or whether we create structures that in and of themselves create barriers to entry and impede the flow of capital. And that just increases the cost for everyone and ultimately would be paid for by the investor. Which is not what investors put money in for. I Which guess. is not, not the <laughs> ideal outcome. That's true. true. Um, but in the, in the context of growth opportunities and in context of you know, navigating a number of different challenges that the industry is facing today, um, we recently announced that we're, that you're, we're building a digital exchange. Now, this is apparently in response to everything going on in the crypto space and the crypto frenzies. Tell us a bit more about this. I mean, A, what, how is this reflecting dynamics in the marketplace in terms of how a traditional stock exchange works versus these kind of platforms? Well, I think we have to be careful that we separate the asset, a cryptocurrency, from the underlying technology and the structure of the exchange itself. What the digital exchange does is a consequent move towards a convergence of 
trading, settlement, and booking or custody. Um, what we have today are three separate legal entities, a stock exchange, a central counterparty, and a central securities depository, which ultimately uh, is the process that every capital markets participant goes through. He trades on the exchange, he clears through the central counterparty, and ultimately the, the transaction is booked two days later normally at the central securities depository. Mm -hmm. Well, anyone who will have uh, done any kind of cryptocurrency trading will have seen is that you bring together the trade, the settlement, and the booking into one step. Okay. And our effort is now not in the first instance to create a cryptocurrency exchange. That's not the goal. The goal is to look at how can we bring together these three steps over three legal entities into a single step, create massive additional efficiencies, mm -hmm. and reduce risk, reduce costs, and increase liquidity for the market as a whole. That's the purpose of the digital exchange. Um, but what about for business investors in general? Would that also op offer opportunities for them in the future to create new ways to raise capital, for example? Absolutely. Through, uh, Absolutely. There's, you know, at the moment we, we do IPOs on our exchange, sure. as, as most exchanges do. And I fully expect that on the digital exchange, on SDX, that we will have ICOs being issued regularly, but they'll be different from the ICOs that are being issued at the moment. That, at the moment, is a bit of a wild west. Mm -hmm. It's uncontrolled, mm -hmm. it's unregulated, mm -hmm. and whether there's substance behind the capital raising that is being done is, is a big question mark. By coming in as an acknowledged uh, infrastructure group in a regulated environment as a regulated organization, we're coming in and saying we can set a standard so that anyone investing in an ICO done on SDX will have the, the comfort that a, a degree of due diligence has been done in the same way that we do it in the IPO process. So it establishes also a degree of transparency and clarity as much as reliability and dependability Absolutely. in the space that you are referring Absolutely. to as the Wild West. Okay, that sounds great. And the first timelines, what are we looking at in terms of first deliverables and by you know how does that unfold? We intend to roll out the first step of, of Six Digital Exchange in the summer of 2019. And then there'll be a series of additional enhancements going forward from there. So it's ambitious. It's ambitious, but we'll get there. Good, great. Thanks, Tom, for your time. Take care. Pleasure. Mm -hmm.